Hey guys, Multigame Master one here, and welcome back to A Hat in Time. In the last part, we were traveling back to our home planet, but unfortunately had an accident on our ship thanks to the freaking Mafia, causing our timepieces to scatter to a distant planet. We also encounter a red hooded girl, mustache girl, beat down some Mafia, and reclaim two timepieces as of so far. In this part, we're going to delve on into more of Mafia Town, but first, a couple of things I want to show you guys. So at the end of the last recording session, I noticed right away that we have enough yarn to stitch a brand new hat, so we're going to do that right now. One, two, crystal. And voila, we have the brewing hat. Cook up mad concoctions. Press ZL to throw an explosive concoction. It's now ready for use. I will go ahead and demonstrate this. Cycle between our hats. Oh, we already have it on. Okay. So, if you hold down the ZL button for at least half a second, or until the point it glows, and release it at that time, you can throw explosive formulas. The brewing hat can be useful for busting open shiny containers like this. And they usually yield a bunch of pawns in return. Also over here we have a token machine. It's a small machine that takes rift tokens and gives a gift in return. Spend three tokens for a gift? I'm not sure if I have that. Not enough tokens. Yeah, so the token machine is used to purchase three different types of things you can get in the game. New dyes, new hat flares, and remixes for the soundtrack of this game. Unfortunately, you'll need to find these things called Rift Tokens in order for you to use it. And before you guys ask if I'm going to find every single Rift Token in the game, probably not considering that they're just optional items. But I'll try to find as many as I can and maybe throw in a free demonstration as to how this works exactly. With all that being said... Let's get on back to Mafia Town. It's time for some more action. Here we go. Now if I recall correctly, we need at least 5 pawns to unveil the next act, which is what we have. Let's reveal it and get started. Act 3, She, she Came, came from, from Outer, outer space. space. A scaredy cat Mafia there. Why is he there, I wonder? Maybe he's just intimidated by a bunch of things. Oh, shiny! Little girl, see thing over there? Mafia wonder if there is way to get, but Mafia no time to search for entrance if Mafia need to stare. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way we can get it. Hey, buddy. Away with you. Oh, shiny. Sorry, guys, but I gotta go for the shinies. Awesome. Also, we have a present box up there, but I don't think I can get that just yet, so we'll pass on it. Oh, look at this. Apparently, the Mafia are terrified of me now because I'm covered in mud. Don't know why, but... Hey! That gives me an advantage. Alright, we should get a move on. Wait, who are you? That darn seagull over there took my camera! I would have gone and done a belly dive over there! No, but this belly's too precious for sliding on. I wonder how on earth you managed to get your camera stolen from a bird. Right, so our goal is up there. Seems like we have quite a ways to go. Oh wait, why are you guys standing there? Hi. Cave of limits. Boss orders. That's fine, I didn't want to go to the cave anyway. Child can't enter cave. Boss orders. So he pretty much says the same thing. Hmm, can I use that shiny over there? There's another shiny over here. I think I should be able to. Sorry guys, I'm getting distracted by a whole bunch of things. Okay, it can't hurt to explore for a bit, right? There we go, there's a way to our shiny. That guy just jumped off the building. Not very wise, in my honest opinion. You should still be running. I just love being down these guys. Right, I need to focus on my goal here. Wrong button. Goes up there. You almost dived on top of me, sir. But you perish. 
You perish too. Know what you're trying to do? Dive on top of me? I won't have that. What the? Huh? It's it's slimy space alien. Mafia's a spaceship. Mafia knew all along. Mafia is being invaded by aliens. Ah! Look, just surrender the timepiece and I'll let you go, okay? It's not that hard. Awkward camera shot, by the way. Did he seriously just scream like a girl? There's a mechanic I forgot, by the way. So, after a jump, if you press ZR, you can pull off a dive and that'll give you a little bit more jumping capabilities in terms of reaching new far out places. Bunch of shinies here. I'm gonna grab these. You cannot resist the shinies, guys. None can resist the shiny. Pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny. Come on, dude. Just give me the timepiece. It's not that hard. This platform is kind of dangerous, by the way, but we're fine. It's okay, it's cool. I question how it is that a Mafia member can jump that far. Leave Mafia alone, you monster! Here, if Mafia give you this, will you go away? That, and I would appreciate it if you do not show your butt in front of my face. Thank you very much. Alright, so we're back on the ship. The telescope is still jumping in place. That means we still have some more stuff to do. Let's check it out. Act 3 complete. This is Act 4. Look at the description of the level, by the way. Chapter Mafia Town, population Wunga soon. <laughs> no kidding. Mission, take down the Mafia. Perspiration, the sky seems to be perspirating. Well, if by that you mean raining, then yes. Anyways. Let's do it. Act 4. Down with the Mafia! Alright, so it looks like we start off with that cannon. And we can use it to get up there, maybe? I could we start right here, by the way. Hmm, that shiny's too far out. We'll grab it later. Or maybe I'll just grab it off screen. Whee! You took your time. Get these brutes off my case and we can go inside. You could say please. Hey, chumps. Eat my umbrella. Good job, kid. It was nothing. Right, so before we head inside, I'll explore this part a bit. Also, actually, I was going to ask how it is that the Mafia have a levitating base up here, but I understand the reason. It's because of that huge geyser down below. Oh, we got a chest back here. Let's see what's in it. A rift token. Use it on your spaceship's orb machine to gain cute rewards. Of those I've explained earlier, by the way. Alright, I think it's time for some action. Mustache Girl is on one of the switches. We'll step on the other one. It is showtime. Also, there's a bunch of commotion in there. Well... Time to crash the party. Also, I like how the sign, by the way, says, Go away, please. <laughs> As if that's supposed to be intimidating. Yeah, that wasn't intimidating at all. In fact, I thought that was more welcoming. More mafia in here. Is this place like a casino? Oh, there's our timepiece. In the theater. Right, so we have to get in there. Who's tossing stuff? You got a lot of nerve. What do you have to say? If small child gambling problem, it's her own fault. 
use roulette tables purely for loops. No gambling here. Are you saying that the longer I stay in here, the more chances I could get a gambling addiction? Listen, I've settled that a long time ago, and it's not coming back. And you, stop tossing trash at me, that's why you died. Guess we could have a look around for a bit. It looks like it only takes local currency and you forgot to stop by the Bureau de Change, or Bureau de Change, however you pronounce that. Well, it's not like I'm gonna use the slots anyway. I have no reason to. Ooh, key! That we cannot get to unless we place something on this switch. If only Mustache Girl were here. Is this the men's restroom? Where's the ladies' restroom, I wonder? Okay, it seems as though that someone is doing their business in there, and I'm not gonna go in there. Oh, nice, another Rift token. Alright. Let's see, is there anything else we could do out here? Oh, you have to say something? You should leave. This is no place for little girl. Most place is not for child, but especially here. Listen, I just want the timepiece that you collected from me, and then I'll go. Understand? What are you guys looking at? Get the frick out of here. Have you come to make another purchase? Believe it or not, I actually have. Ooh, badge pin allows you to equip one more badge. That would be very useful. I'll take it. The jiggling resumes. I think I could purchase something else as well. Hover badge. Automatically pull out your umbrella before deadly impact. That could also be useful. I'll take it. And as for this badge, the one that's marked with flies, Mumble Badge plugs your ears, now you can only hear vague mumbling. I'm not gonna get that, because it smells, and that would explain all the flies around it. Plus, it's a bad badge. Okay, cool, we got the second badge equipped already. Uh, sir, get the frick out of my way, please. Get the frick out of my way. Wow. This guy sure is persistent. Persistent in preventing me from getting access to the theater. Guess we'll have to find another way to get in there. You want a piece of me? Big mistake, pal. It's still pouring it down outside. It's much nicer to watch from indoors, though. Yeah, you enjoy that meal there. Bye there. Whatever problem is, Mafia sure you can deal with it. You look like tenacious type, not leave problem alone. Other little girl run into kitchen, if you are looking for her. She look like unruly type, keep eye on her. Oh, I will. Alright, let's have a look around, shall we? Up in the rafters here. Ah, we got rats. Oh, who are you? The mafia are terrible at cooking, but fear not. Cooking Cad is here. I prepare the actual dinner up here and swap the food before anybody eats the mafia's cooking. I'm fairly certain someone would die if they ate the mafia prepared food. That's a good point, but it seems like a lot of work on your part. Are you sure you can handle it each and every single day? I'm gonna swap hats, by the way. Well, whatever. At least we have someone here who knows how to make decent food. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. 
Oh, ZR's a drop. Okay. Now we got the key. You know, I have to wonder if the Mafia actually ate their own food. And if so, how are they not dead yet? Oh, wow. This place is filthy. I don't like this ketchup one bit. As much as I don't like the Mafia. Yeah, you die too. Rip the Mafia chefs. This appears to be the Mafia's excuse for food. It certainly doesn't smell like it though. You could probably taste some, but you're not sure that's something you want in your obituary. That and also, Cooking Cat told us that their food is awful. Do you want to get a bad case of food poisoning? Or worse, death. Hi, mustache girl. Go ahead, kid. Open this thing up and I'll keep guard here. Alrighty then. Oh, it's freezing cold in here. Giant fish? You resist the urge to think of any fish puns. It's tough. But you managed to hold them back. Well, that's fine, because I can't really think of any puns at the moment. I'm a guy with a poor sense of humor. It's true. It's definitely true. Can't really think of a good laugh at the moment. Although I will say, something is rather fishy in here. Get it? No? Not the time for jokes? Okay, moving on. Wow, the Mafia are freaking loaded in here. Look at this. Pushing wrong buttons for days. But it's alright. Cool. It's always nice to have some extra yarn on hand. In case we make any more hats. Hey, so guys. I managed to get past your guard back there and now I'm in the theater. What are you going to do about it, huh? Nothing, you're just gonna sit there? Yeah, you're just gonna look at me, and you're just gonna look for it. Oh, now you look at me. These guys are terrible at guarding. They need to find a new day job or something. Hi! There's the Mafia boss over there, and he's got our timepiece. Uh, what's going on? Oh. Okay, you wanna fight? Bring it. Come on, try to keep up now. You are too slow for me. There's a switch buried in this pile of non-distinct currency. Pull it? Yes. You pull the switch out of the pile and put it in your bag. Your collection of improv comedy props grows stronger. <laughs> wow. They just had to get us with that one. I will admit, it was a nice gag though. Definitely a nice comedy prop. So, it is you. Yep, it me. Ever since you landed in Mafia Town, it's been raining with these magical hourglasses. Yeah, and I want those back. You must be very lost, kid with the hat. You're in the heart of our town, standing before the most powerful man you will ever witness. Everything you've ever owned belongs to me now. Yeah, all of that is pretty debatable. Let's be honest here. Including this hourglass piece. If you want it, we'll have to settle it in true Mafia style. Bring it on. Fight! Action! It is showtime! Let's do it. The fight's pretty straightforward, by the way. Just wait for him to glow blue, and then you can attack him. Here comes the supercharge. Easy to dodge. Come on, dude. You can do better than that. Watch out for the sandbags. Oh, thanks for the help, by the way. Not that I really needed it. I like how the Mafia are in the audience just watching me. Watching a little girl get pummeled. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. Take that. Take that. 
Oh, what's the matter? Getting upset because you're getting beat by a little girl? How embarrassing for you. It's gonna stay that way from here on out. I'm a tough little girl. Even if I am an alien. Well, so much for Mustache Girl trying to avoid the Mafia at all costs. We'll rescue her though. I believe in us. Also, if this is the Mafia's idea of a theater for entertainment, it is definitely subpar. Much like their kitchen is. Really, I could say the same thing about you. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I can't believe I dodged all those, holy crap. Go down already. You're no match for me, dude. Not even your Mafia Ball can squish me. Will you now? Will you really? Oh boy. Haha, <laughs> couldn't get me. He's dead. Rest in peace. The battle is won. Especially at a flawless victory. I can't believe I didn't get hit even once. I'm quite proud of myself for that. Yeah, that's right. Go on and shoo. Get out of here. The lot of you. Um. She has it. So what do these things do anyway? Are they some sort of rare collector's item for nerds? First of all, who the frick are you calling a nerd? And secondly, give it back. No! Are they some sort of rare co Wait. Huh? Oh. So, every time the hourglass breaks, it resets time. Interesting. Whoa. What? What? Did, um, did you know about this? Give it back. Hack it admits it. We don't know about it, but she knows about it. This is crazy! Do you even realize what could be done with these? What I have to wonder, by the way, is how Hack Kid even discovered this. We can make it so that you never got punched in the face by the Mafia that one time! Yeah, I kind of wish that did not happen. Oh, that's nice. Ow! That was not so nice. I mean, I guess, but... No, wait. Uh, we can make it so the Mafia never arrived on the island! Uh... Wait, wait, wait! Even better! We could be crime-fighting time travelers! Okay. This is too much, even for you. Messing with time is a dangerous thing. Therefore, you can't have it. Wait. Nope. Just getting him from my ship and going home. That's it. If you're not gonna use them to fight evil, then I will. You will? I'm not gonna let this island remain as Mafia Town. I'll collect all the timepieces for myself. You have my word on it. Then let the games begin. I guess we're not friends anymore. Why do my pockets feel empty? Mustache Girl has pickpocketed half your pawns. Oh, that is it. That is it. It is on. That was the last straw. Ha! 
I love that animation, by the way. <laughs> Alright, here we are back on the ship, and we have enough time pieces to access the next area. Firstly though, I want to look into something with this telescope. Act 4 complete. The Golden Vault, that's a brand new act. A time rift is also detected. Right, so this is Act 7, the Golden Vault. And this is Act 6. What? Where the heck is Act 5? Also, we got a time rift here. Time rift blue. Let's see. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking that we should find this at some point. But we'll leave it alone for now. Right now, I want to check out the new area that just opened up. Boop! Power has been restored in the machine room. The chapter Battle of the Birds is now available. Sweet! Let's see if we can find some stuff in here. Ooh, shiny containers. I definitely want to destroy these. Look at all this junk in the way. I have to wonder what's through here, by the way. Oh, wow. It's one of those timers we were searching for. We can interact with that later. There's not much time for this episode, anyway. So, yeah, we'll worry about that another time. A 7-stage tri-calculating quantum harmonizer. It was pretty expensive, but who doesn't deserve to treat themselves every now and then? Mood. That's a total mood on a daily basis. None can deny. Ah yes, the VGS-1, the fastest, most complex supercomputer ever to be built. Boot it up? Uh, sure. You power it on. A world of computing delight awaits you. Greetings, user. Undefined user. Welcome to your home computing experience. Open application. Sure, let's go with fun. Open application, games. You have selected the text-based entertainment application. Open application, yes. You have selected, yes. I will choose a game from my immeasurable library of purely non-visual fun. I have selected Corky Quest 7, The Leashes That Bind. You are a Corky, your name is Alan. You must sever the magical leash holding you to this plane of nastiness. Exits are north, east, and south. I don't know why I'm playing this game, by the way. Uh, go north, I guess? You go north, there is a tiger. Exits are south, and advisable. Let's try and fight the tiger. You battle the tiger with your claws. It is no match for your skill. Tigers are and will continue to be very endangered. You will be tried for your crimes. Try again? No, I think I'm done. Closing text-based entertainment application. Shut down. Shutting down. Well, that was a bunch to take in. It's a bookcase, also known as a cool word zone or a thing you can't even slightly fill yourself, Stephen. You'll never find a publisher and all that time you spend in your study is time you could spend with your kids, depending on where you're from. Wow, I'm sensing some comedy in there, but at the same time, I'm also sensing something harsh. This lever does literally nothing but alter how bright the nearby panel is when the power is on. It's stuck on really bright, actually. How does Hat Kid not get blinded by this light, by the way? And why is she not suffering migraines? Like, if I saw something really bright in my eyes, like the sun, for example, or even a bright screen, I would, within maybe like an hour or so, get very painful migraines. It's not really good to stare at bright things for too long. Everyone knows this. Anything else of value? I don't think so. Oh wait, there's this radio. This is your bleeding edge, top of the line audio device. Without it, you wouldn't be able to tune into all your favorite radio broadcasts, like Acquaintances at the Table, Goodbye from Sunshine Town, or Two Brothers, and then also a third additional brother, myself. That's interesting. I wonder what those programs are like actually. I wanna listen to that. 
Anyway, we got a telescope here that takes us to Chapter 2, Battle of the Birds. And Act 1, Dead Bird Studio is unlocked. But I think we've done enough for this episode, so we're going to save that for the next part. So, next time we're going to take on Chapter 2, Battle of the Birds. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button down below if you did. I'm Multigame Master one and I will see you guys in the next video. Game on, everyone. See you later. Oh, by the way, one last thing. Hat Kid, what do you have to say to all the viewers who liked the video and enjoyed the series so far? Good girl. Now, what do you have to say to the haters? She is such a gem.